Hello, grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Mike Salmon here from Harvest Christian Fellowship. I pray everyone is having a good morning. So um, today we have been uh, kind of uh, talking, uh, well the family has been kind of talking a little bit about uh, you know, certain things that are happening in the news. I'm sure um, some of you have, uh, you know, seen that uh, they've come up with a some kind of antiviral drug that would help, um, you know, the coronavirus and things like that, which is great news for a lot of people. Um, I know that it's kind of bringing things back to norm. And I think that's many of many people right now are starting to get kind of in a uh, in a place of normalcy in the sense that, OK, we're kind of. Uh, I guess you would say stabilization, stabilization. Now, as these things, as uh, time stabilize, uh, there's going to be a lot of identity issues. Like, what do we do now? You know, do we go to church? Do we not go to church? Do we go in there mat with masks? Um, do we go in there with gloves? I mean, how long or how far do we take this? I mean, is the coronavirus going to go away soon? Is it going to go away next week, next month, uh, six months from now, or one year? How long do I stay out of church and and what kind of precautions uh, can I take? Um, let me just say this. There are a few precautions. If you're one of those uh, that feel like, you know what, you, I, I really don't want to get this. And not only do I really not want to get this, because no one wants to get this. Um, I don't want to pass it on to anybody, um, which is a very, very good and wise thing to do. You know, or, you know, just think, hey, you know, I need to, I need to take extra, extra, extra precautions for myself. Um, one thing that you may, uh, want to do and is, and still want to come to church is wear a mask, you know, wear masks, uh, gloves, uh, are very important. Well, you know, gloves, really not really gloves. I'm going to just say mask, not really gloves. Um, uh, because whether you're wearing gloves or whether you're not wearing gloves, if you touch your face with gloves on, with the sickness on your hands, uh, it doesn't matter. Gloves does not just dissipate this, this virus. Okay. So just remember that. Just washing your hands, uh, wearing a, a face mask is a great protection um, and allows uh, you to come to church without feeling like you're going to you know, get anything. And then on top of that, remember, it's not just touching saliva. This is not a, like, I just touched someone with saliva. Ah, it's a person's got to be infected. Uh, we've tell all our members and we'll tell you family members, uh, church, family, friends, acquaintances, coming to Harvest, um, if you have any symptoms Please do not come. Give us a call. We'll have the pastor deacon come visit you guys, pray for you, serve you communion at your home, uh, the Eucharist at your home. You don't need to be coming and uh, and infecting. Please don't try to be a trooper and be like, I'm going to make it because it's church. You know, we're here for you. We understand. Um, but the greatest thing that you could do in brotherly love and, and kindness is, is uh, don't get other people infected. If you're feeling sick and not tested yet, figure it out. Uh, but we are there for you. Um, so, uh, Harvest uh, members, if you're in need of anything, please let us know. Food, you know, toilet paper, I think that's kind of re restocking itself now. Um, you know, we're doing our best. Uh, we're trying to find now uh, a thing of masks because I think it's going to be the new fad. The fad is going to be about uh, wearing masks. So, um, keep that in prayer as we uh, move forward and things, okay? So, I want to do. I do want to share a, a word with you. Uh, Psalms 84. I've been reading through the book of Psalms. I'm going through the book of Psalms lately, and I'm on Psalms 84. I got done with Second Kings and just been going through Psalms and, and stuff like that. So, I'm sorry, I got done with Second Chronicles. So, I want to share with you um, how am amiable are thy tabernacle, O Lord of hosts. Okay? And um, let me give you the, the Hebrew word. Now, remember the... the the Bible that's in the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. The New, the New uh, Testament was written in Greek. Okay, and um, and I think that you've probably uh, seen this word before. And how beautiful uh, is thy tabernacle? Is really the word. How beloved or loved is your tabernacle, O Lord of Hosts? My soul longeth, yea, even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cries out for the living God. And this is a real heart desire. Like, man, I cry out for you. I have my soul longs for you. Even faints. Um, there's a song that we, I sang a long time ago. It's a hymn. Uh, As a deer panteth for the water, my soul longeth after thee. Um, so 
my soul longeth, it desires, okay, the Hebrew word here on this one here is, is it becomes pale, like it's, it pines away for you, it faints, it pines away for you, God, let me just put this here, pining, crying out to you, he even faints, all right, longeth, faints, all right, and the word is faint, is be finished, like, I'm fainting, I'm, I need you, God, okay, um, I wish there was a different way for me to do this, but okay. Um, yea, the sparrow has found a house and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, okay? They will be still praising you, amen? So those who are in the house of the Lord praising God, blessed is the man whose strength, whose strength is in thee and whose heart are the ways are the ways of them okay or in your ways okay so bless are this those whose trust is in you our strength is in you god who passing through the valley of baca make it in a well the rain also filleth the pools okay and the word the 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 uh, city of or the valley of ba baca is a is a place of like weeping and and um, it's a place where people went to go mourn. It's a people. It's like a desert, and is what he's saying is, even passing through the valley of Baca, you make it a well. The rain also filleth the pool. So you even there, in weeping and sorrow, you you provide. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Salah. Okay. And remember, this is a music. So so a psalm is considered a song. Okay, behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thy anointed. Okay, and the word anointed here means a consecrated person. Okay, a person who's been set aside for God. Okay, look upon our face. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. Okay, I'm sure you've heard this the song. Uh, uh, better is better. Uh, better is a day in your court. Oh, gosh, I can't remember the song now. A thousand elsewhere is uh, a day in your court. So there's a song called "Better Day." My can't even find that song. It's been so long since I sang that song. But uh, one day in your court is, is better than a thousand elsewhere. And what he's saying is, being in your presence, in your court, even if I stood before you in a yard, is better than anywhere else. Better than Disneyland. Better than everything. Okay. Think about that concept. Think about that. Better is a day in the courts or in the place of God. In a thousand elsewhere. If we had that concept, boy, our whole life would change, right? I'd rather be a doorkeeper, a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. In other words, I'd rather be a servant than to dwell in, in high and lofty places, uh, you know, of magnificence. Living a life away. again, people's life would change if they live this way. You know, if you live with your with God and church and body and Christ number one, if you lived that of wanting to be a servant of God, your whole life would change. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. I love that. I love that. When we walk uprightly. And look at the word uprightly here, okay? It's the word, uh, it means entirely, entirely, figuratively, mortal, with integrity and truth. Okay, who's the truth? Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. When we walk in Christ, no one can be upright. I mean, in the sense of no one's perfect. No one is going to be the most righteous. But when we walk in truth, in the truth of Christ, and walking in God, and doing the things he's called to do, we find the blessing. We, God will not withhold no good thing. And that's so true. He does not. He will, he will withhold nothing. He does not withhold. And the word means uh, he benefits. He won't. He won't bring injury to us i mean that's the thing of god he's so good we serve a good good god and he's good all the time folks oh lord of horse oh uh, lord of hosts blessed is the man that trusts in thee okay and i like this word trust means to lie or to hide ref for refuge okay we have our confidence in god in christ okay we have our confidence in christ he's our refuge so what a wonderful what a wonderful text uh, to remind us of the blessing of God, uh, to remind us that he alone is worthy. He's an awesome God. 
we our soul faint for longs for him um, to be in his courts. To, he he's our refuge. He's our strength. Uh, we better are those who dwell in the house. Those who str bless are who's blessed are we whose strength is in Christ or is in God. He provides us even in time of sorrow and weeping. He gives us strength. Uh, our prayers go before him. He looks upon us. Better is a day in his courts than a thousand elsewhere. We'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than in the dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Son, for the Lord God is a sun and shield. Um, he does not withhold anything from those who are his. And uh, we are blessed to those who trust in him. So may the Lord bless you guys. Let me pray with you this morning. Father, I just pray right now, Lord, that we remember your, your word. Father God, that we walk in your ways and your truths. We thank you, Lord, and we hold on to these promises that you've given to us. Bless Harvest Christian Fellowship, its members, those who walk through the doors, those who seek your face, Lord Jesus. Bless us, keep us healthy and strong, Father God. And we pray for our nation, Father God, as we seek you. Father, we love you and we thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, also, one last announcement. Please don't forget today uh, is the last day for our, our uh, fasting for Thursday sundown to sunup we will be fasting uh please continue fast as god just continues to move through our nation uh, we're praying for um you know medication cure vaccine whatever god is going to do uh, however you may feel about that we're just seeking god's face and hedge of protection around our nation around our businesses around our economy around all the things that are happening we serve a good god remember he does not withhold any good thing from those who walk uprightly in Jesus' name, God bless.